They were in a uh, Navistar conventional school bus at the DT, the 466. We're going to do a parked regen. Engines warmed up, ready to go. I'm just going to sign in. Here it's a uh, Navistar engine diagnostics. You can see the um, set load, highest level. So what we're going to do is a parked regen, see if we can clean the the uh, emissions up. So we're going to do, before we can do anything, you usually have to do a key on, engine off test. Okay, so you just want to do a standard test. This goes through its standard checks here. Start a standard test. Standard test complete. Just checks all these uh, parameters here. Output state, intake air, intake heater, etc. So let's go key. So now I want to go into uh, key off, key on rather, engine running test. Standard test. Okay, so crank it up. Start standard test. See it's checking uh, injection control pressure, injection uh, desired, brake control pressure. It's got desired and pressures. Good. So now we can go into on board filter cleanliness test, and everything's set because we got this level three high level sub load. So we'll see if that cleans up. So okay start onboard filter cleaning this test. It should kick in. There it goes. You see down here, after treatment, regen status, these are particular fil filter set loading, 32, which is on the high side, it says 3 is plugged right up here, level 3, a well, maximum 3, so well, let's sit here and uh, cook and see if it uh, cleans everything up on the DPF. You can see the DPF lights on the dash and RPMs up there just to help with uh, the heat and everything. So, come back in about half an hour or so and see how everything reads. Soot level should decrease. And you can smell it already. 
nasty stuff, that's it. Okay. Have a look at the tailpipe. It's gonna run about a thousand degrees. See, to keep away from the tailpipe, but it's, by the time it gets from front to the rear, on a conventional, it's not hotter than usual. I'll let it reach in for about half an hour and see how it does. See if it cleans up. <laughs> 